Okay. Look at this example. This, uh, sorry, the displacement x of a particle undergoing linear simple harmonic motion is given by uh, this equation, x equal to 5 sine 20 pi t, where x and t are measured in centimeter and second respectively. Okay, what is the maximum speed? Oh, speed the particle can achieve. Okay, uh, what equation is given? Okay, what equation is given? Uh, it gives us the displacement time equation huh? because we have, see, the displacement time. So it gives us the displacement time equation. Be, uh, this is, uh, in fact, is displacement. Be careful with the unit also. Okay, the unit, uh, centimeter and second. Okay, uh, the displacement is in centimeter, time in second. Okay, uh, so another thing is uh, we know that uh, displacement is centimeter, so the amplitude must also be centimeter. And uh, for the time is second, so the omega will be per second. That's the unit. Yeah, uh, we need to know. Okay, so now the question asks for maximum speed. Maximum speed. Okay, maximum speed. So how to do this question? Okay, uh, first of all, I uh, okay. Actually, we have the equations for maximum speed. Maximum speed is a omega. That means amplitude times omega. But I think uh, it is best for us to first uh, derive the equations for speed. Yeah. Okay, we should actually try to derive the equation for velocity first uh, before we f we continue further okay so okay so let, let 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 me rewrite the equation below we have the displacement uh, displacement time equation uh, x equal to 5 sine uh, 20 i t okay uh, so actually if you uh, look at the general formula uh, the formula is uh, a sine omega t yeah, for displacement. Okay, so let's compare with the general formula which is uh, x equal to a sine omega t. Uh, so from here we can see uh, amplitude is 5 cm, omega is 20 pi. Okay, uh, that is for sure, we know that. Uh, now, we want to um, find the equation for velocity. So, how to find the equation for velocity? Question A. So, I want to find velocity time equation. Yeah, first find the velocity time equation. So, to, to do that, you need to um, differentiate the displacement time equation. Okay. So, velocity is actually dx over d. E. Uh, that means differentiate the displacement time this differentiate the displacement you will get velocity uh, dif dif differentiate versus time okay so how uh, so we differentiate first of all we differentiate outside we differentiate outside okay we differentiate uh, outside and then we differentiate inside okay we differentiate outside what do we get uh, we get uh, 5, differentiate, differ, uh, differentiate sign, you get cos. Uh, you get cosine. And then, uh, inside, we just rewrite. Okay, we just rewrite. And then, we differentiate inside. Uh, we differentiate inside. What do we get? Uh, we get, uh, multiply, uh, differentiate 20 pi t, uh, differentiate with time, we get 20 pi. Ah, okay. First, we differentiate outside. Differentiate sign, we get cos. Do you see that? Differentiate sign. Uh, differentiate sign, we get cos. Uh, okay. And then differentiate uh, inside. Differentiate inside, we get 20 pi. Okay. So, after that, uh, this one just go to the front. Okay. 
multiply to the front and we get we get uh, 5 times 20 is 100 uh, ah, that's the velocity time equation uh, that's the velocity time equation understand uh, and uh, you must give the unit also you must give the unit because uh, just now um, the displacement is centimeter okay please write down the unit displacement is centimeter so the amplitude is centimeter uh, time in second the omega is per second so what about the velocity uh, the velocity will be uh, this one will be a uh, centimeter per second okay uh, and this this one also centimeter per second this one of course per second second same yeah as above ah okay that's the unit so you must write the unit also huh? not just the equation you must write the unit also uh, write it over here uh, write over here ah uh, okay the v is centimeter per second okay because it's follow the displacement uh, centimeter per second and time is in second you must write the unit also huh? after you write the equation okay so what is the uh, what is the okay so what is the uh, maximum uh, maximum speed uh, maximum speed is uh, this one uh, yeah this is the maximum speed okay let's write it down uh, this is the maximum speed sorry hold on a second uh, this is the maximum speed yeah uh, so this is actually this is actually the a omega understand or not uh, okay uh, we did learn before this is actually the a omega yeah a omega uh, cos omega t that's why you also get this one a omega cos omega t uh, this is this is here is actually omega p okay so that's the maximum speed okay so that's the answer uh, so the maximum speed is actually a omega okay uh, which is 100 pi okay 100 pi uh, same unit yeah centimeter per second uh, centimeter per second Okay, uh, a omega. So now, uh, question B. Okay, let me transfer this a little bit here. Okay, now question B. Uh, is oh, uh, let's check the answer. So what is hundred pi? Let's let's calculate the hundred pi. Hundred times pi is uh three three one four point one six centimeter per second is that correct yes it is correct okay uh, in fact you just use this formula also can yeah uh, to find the maximum speed you just use a omega yeah just take the just take the 5 5 times 20 pi uh, you straight away get 100 pi okay uh, or, you, or you build the equation first you also can find the maximum speed okay so okay so now uh, b question b find the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration when particle is uh, uh, three cent centimeter from the equilibrium position so i want to find now i want to find the velocity acceleration when given the 3 cm this is the displacement uh, given the displacement uh, from the equilibrium position so this one given that means this one given the displacement okay uh, this one given the displacement want to find velocity and acceleration so this one you cannot use the velocity time equation you must use another equation which is um, velocity displacement equation and for acceleration is acceleration displacement equation uh, do we have that equation okay velocity displacement equation yes velocity displacement equation is plus minus omega square root a square minus x square and for acceleration displacement is 
negative omega square x. Uh, write that down. Okay. So, uh, V is equal to plus minus. Uh, what is the omega? Yeah. Omega uh, amplitude square minus displacement square. Uh, we have, you see that? We have the, this is the displacement. Uh, this is the velocity displacement equation. And then for acceleration, it is A equal to negative omega square x. Uh, this is the acceleration displacement equation. So uh, you just put in the displacement. Just put in the displacement. Yeah, over here. Uh, 3 centimeter. Uh, yeah, here also 3 centimeter. And you can find the velocity and acceleration. Okay, let's find out. Yeah. So, uh, what is the omega? Yeah, omega is uh, uh, if you look at here, twenty pi is the omega. Yeah. So just put in the twenty pi. Okay. And then what is the amplitude? Amplitude is uh, five centimeter. Oh, be careful with the unit. It always centimeter. Yeah. Uh, it is a uh, five centimeter. Okay, minus your x. Your x is also centimeter. Okay, yeah. Uh, x is also centimeter. So later your velocity also get centimeter per second. Okay. Uh, so uh, this one he say uh, displacement is three cm from equilibrium position. Do you say above equilibrium or below equilibrium? Uh, didn't mention, but here you can see the sign is positive. Uh, positive uh, 3. That means this one is above displacement, above the equilibrium. Okay, it's above the equilibrium. Uh, so, uh, the, the sign is positive. Unless you give negative, uh, the negative then uh, it's below equilibrium. This one is positive 3, means it's above equilibrium. So, okay, let, let, let us write it down. That is a uh, 3 centimeter, 3 square. Ah, so what is the velocity? Let's calculate. Yeah, let's calculate. Ah, okay, I got the answer is uh, plus minus 80 pi. Uh, plus minus 80 pi. Uh, if you uh, further calculate, you will get uh, plus minus uh, 251.5. 3, 3. Uh, unit uh, because all this while your your uh, amplitude is centimeter yeah your amplitude is centimeter your displacement also centimeter so your velocity also centimeter per second uh, be careful with the unit not meter per second not meter per second but it's centimeter per second okay so that's the answer okay that's the answer is the answer correct yeah, plus minus uh, 251, 33.33 centimeter per second. That's correct. Okay. Uh, what does it mean by what does it mean by a positive negative sign here? What does it mean by this positive negative? Uh, this means that at this position, the object is maybe the object maybe is uh, moving up or moving down. Eh? Maybe is uh, is moving up or maybe it is moving down at that position at 3 cm uh, displacement it is maybe it's moving the object is moving up or maybe it's moving down uh, that's the direction of uh, motion okay that's the meaning of the positive negative here maybe it's moving up or moving down okay now uh, let's find the acceleration 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 is uh, negative what is the omega omega is 20 pi again 20 pi yeah look at here 20 pi uh, 20 pi where and then this is a uh, uh, 3 uh, this one again is 3 centimeter uh, is centimeter okay so what's the what's the answer ah uh, okay so the answer is uh, negative negative uh, 1 uh, 1 1843.53 uh, which is uh, okay if you look at the, the 
all right what is this so uh this is the once a unit uh displacement is centimeter so this one should be uh centimeter per second square uh okay don't put meter per second square huh? so is the answer correct um 11 8.84 exponent 3 yeah 0.84 exponent 3 so it's correct okay it's correct uh, okay uh, exponent 3 yeah exponent 3 correct lah okay so uh now what is the finally the question what is the speed uh, i want to find the speed at this time a uh, given time uh, so at given time, want to find speed, I use the velocity time equation. Uh, this one, uh, given time, want to find velocity, I use velocity time equation. Uh, that's what I find the velocity equation just now. I differentiate, differentiate the displacement to get velocity. Uh, I got the velocity equation already. So I can use this equation, velocity versus time. Uh, given time, find velocity. Okay, write down the equation we found just now. Velocity time equation. 100 pi or sine uh, 20 pi t. Okay, so substitute my, my time. Substitute my time. Uh, uh, time equal to 0 second. Okay, so uh, what is the velocity I get? What is the velocity I get? Uh, remember, this equation uh, here, this part, uh, this must be always radian. Uh, so don't put degree, uh, must always radian. Because look at this pi. This pi always is radian, isn't it? It's not degree. So, okay. Oh, time you put zero, that means this one become what? Become cosine zero already. Become cosine zero. So, whatever cosine 0 is equal to 1, isn't it? Cosine 0 equal to 1. Uh, cosine 0 equal to 1. Yeah. So, 100 pi multiply 1. So, what do I get? Uh, so, I get answer is um, uh, positive. Uh, I got positive uh, 314 point one six. What's a unit? Uh, what's a unit of velocity? Uh, my velocity my velocity unit just now is velocity in centimeter per second because from the start our displacement is centimeter centimeter so our velocity also centimeter uh, so be careful don't put meter per second is centimeter per second that's the answer is that correct yes uh, three one four point one six uh, centimeter per second. That's correct. So what does it mean by the what does it mean by the positive sign here? Uh, that means it is moving. It is moving up. Uh, it's moving up. Okay. Uh, so uh, very simple only. Yeah. Uh, if the question give you displacement, ask to find velocity or acceleration. Then you use the velocity displacement or acceleration displacement equation. If the question give you time, give you time to find velocity uh, or give you time to find acceleration, uh, then you use the versus velocity versus time or acceleration versus time. Okay? Uh, so, give you displacement, you use the displacement one. Yeah? Versus displacement one. Give you time, you use the versus, dis versus time one. Okay? And learn how to differentiate. Learn how to differentiate displacement to velocity. Uh, differentiate the displacement versus time uh, to get velocity versus time. Uh, differentiate velocity versus time, you will get acceleration versus time. Okay? Uh, so that's all for these questions and be careful with the unit. Uh, be careful with the unit. If the displacement is in centimeter, uh, then all the velocity, the following all the velocity and the acceleration or also centimeter per second or centimeter per second square or centimeter okay or centimeter okay so that's all for these questions bye